Hey guys, this is the Craftsman Engineer here, and today we're going to do some more of the Space Agency. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, so here we are, and today I think we're doing the fourth, yeah, the fourth mission here, which is called Space Telescopes. Now, we click on this, and as we usually do, we'll tap on the briefing and read. So, Mission 4, Space Telescope. Launch the Space Telescope into orbit. Maneuver the telescope into the parking zone. Point the telescope out into space and release the telescope. Budget 10 million, max time 8 minutes. Our scientists have just completed work on a new multi-billion dollar space telescope. Your mission is just to launch it into orbit. Sounds easy. The orbit needs to be high and both slow. The Navicomp will indicate the intended parking zone with a green square. Carefully maneuver the telescope into the parking zone. Make sure that the telescope is facing outward into space, i.e. away from the planet, before releasing it. Now for gold. One minute while I fiddle with the, um, sound. Right, um, where was I? Oh, right. So, for gold, less than or equal to nine million dollars, and less than two minutes or fifteen seconds with this. Silver, less than ten million and less than three minutes. And bronze is our maximum. So now click on vehicle 1 and it's always best to just go into the payloads and get a quick look at how big your payload is. Like for example, space telescopes are first large, um, not large, medium payloads. So just want to check to see if we've got any medium pieces that we can use. Now we have, but using them will put us way out of our range. And the Saturn V is not powerful enough, neither is the N1, and the Tug won't go. So I think I'm just going to use small stages, and there is a way to do small to large, and I'll show you that now. So, one minute, just check what the gold is. Nine million, right. Scrolling, scrolling. We get Gemini. Maybe get some solid boosters. Connector. Heavy tug. If we scroll up, now this heavy tug will allow us to switch from small to medium. So now payloads. Bring the space telescope over. Go to medium. And just put a medium fairing, and there we go. And that has allowed us to use small stages to do that, and we're well inside our price range. And now, as we go to the launch pad, we can get ready to launch the first ever taste space telescope of the UCAEA. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, press engine, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. And tally ho, chap. I have no idea why I said that, but I really like saying tally ho. Tally ho. I'm going to keep doing that now. Now, this is basically the UCAEA's rip-off of NASA's Hubble. But, our one is better. Because it's called the... I don't know. Someone who watches this find a better name than Hubble. And that is what I shall call it. Until then, I'll call it Hubble 2.0. If you're not happy with that, please tell me. It'll be a lot better, because I am... I'm not really that good at making names unless they're acronyms. And now as we roll into position, watching the pitch, we can ignite the engine of our second stage and go off. Now the large tug doesn't have as much fuel as the smaller tug, but it does have more thrust, so... Sort of better. Now as we're out in space, we can turn using the monopropellant out into this now I'm going to go slightly backwards because they said it needs to be slow now as we go we can literally just launch outwards into space while we wait for this being careful to watch our fuel because I think we're going to run out before we get there now it would appear that we're actually going slower than the box So if we do this, 
tilt back and then just mono propellant our way forwards. Now this is the way that you ruin at gold if you go too slow. Oh look, our satellite. Hello, Comsat. It's good to see you there. Wait for me. I think... Yes, the thruster propellant is low. No one cares about the thruster propellant being low. Yes, Navicomp, no one cares. Now, I think I did something wrong here, so I'm just going to restart. Now, if you restart it using the circular arrows, and you click back, then your previously designed rockets were already there. But you need to do a update to show how far it will get up. So if we just press launch again... And we can retry this. All yes, the systems are nominal. Okay, that is good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, engines, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tally ho, as we have lift off. The tower has been cleared, and now we are able to undock should we need to. Clearing a tower is a very good thing, because if you don't clear the tower, you're likely to crash into it. And crashing into the tower is not a good thing, in my experience. Because generally there's lots of explosions and death, if there's a manned spacecraft. As we go up, just enjoying the nice launch music. I do like this launch music. And... Just as we watch our fuel, it drops down. We can, for the second time today, separate the Gemini. Now, what I don't understand is how those little strut things have monopropellant to undock, uh, detach, if they have no fuel. And the Gemini, how it's meant to use monopropellant to unlock, undock, whatever, if it too has just run out of fuel. This game is slightly broken. You know, eventually, even if it means that I have to hack this game, I will change those graphics. Because the Earth is not like that. And I think maybe the creators of this game favoured the UK. It's a little slow orbit, yet that thing's going faster than us, and we're going pretty close to orbital. Uh, no. Um, I can't even remember what it's called now. Escape velocity, that's it. It's not really... Well, it is a velocity, because you're not going in a circle, so... The only problem with this mission is that you have to go nearly escape velocity to do it. And they said a slow orbit. Although I guess it is slow if you consider the vast distances. Oh, here we go. Our comsats. Say hello. I just received a message from Mission Control that I should stop saying hello to the satellite. And start doing what I meant to do. So we just go backwards, being careful to watch our velocity. Saying goodbye, satellite. And as we get closer, we can zoom in a little bit using the pinch and unpinch, whatever it's called. Just use the RCS to slow down a bit. Turn around. And as we've turned around, we can stop spinning. Release the fairing off into space somewhere. And release the telescope. And there we go, we have the Silver Award and Mission Complete. Now, Orbital... Um, no, no. Mission 5, Orbital Rendezvous. Launch two resupply modules into orbit. Dock the two modules together in orbit. Budget, 20 million and max time of 6 minutes. This is a preparatory test flight for a future manned moon mission landing. Manned moon landing mission. We need to know if it's possible to dock two modules together while in orbit. Using two separate locket, rockets, launch a pair of resupply modules into space. Once they are both in orbit, carefully bring them together and dock them. For gold, we want each rocket separately be less than 7 million because that's half of that 
and less than 3 minutes and 50 seconds on the mission. To silver, you want each rocket to be less than 8 million each, and it will take you 4 minutes and 20 seconds. And for bronze, you want each rocket to be less than 10 million and less than 6 minutes, so our maximum. If we go for vehicle 1, we're going to want to get it to be less than about 7 million, so remembering that resupply modules are the stage here, here. Now they will get us 69 out of the atmosphere, just by themselves. So, if we're going for 7 million on this one, you can see how much the resupply module is. Now that is pretty expensive. So, small fairing should be able to do it, and that is what we're going to use on both. Now if I cancel out and go into this one, and just build the same thing, Sliding across, next stage, scrolling, gotta love the scroll. Now if you see here, the schematics have changed to actually a rocket semi-built. Now if we click back on this and launch, and I quickly go back, it will show that while it's on the launch pad, these logo bits actually change. So this one is showing the rocket on the launch pad. And so now we can just see the little air jet things. Never understood what they were for, but... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Ah, uh, engine! 3, 3, 3, 2, 1... And launch! Now this resupply module is pretty heavy. It's our third heaviest payload. After, well... A crew... And... Space telescope, in reverse order. The crew was second. As we go up enough, we can just use the engine gimballing, slowly turn the rocket. Now this is the bit that I don't, that I really kind of, I'm a bit apprehensive about, and that's staging to this resupply module, because once we're on this, it's sort of the point of no return. There is no way that we can go back on this now. If I just quickly release that, so that we get in the correct pitch, and we literally just go up. As soon as possible. Now we should be able to make orbit, but don't quote me on that. For I am not sure. Here we go, and we have achieved orbit here. So while we're there, look, as you can see, in-flight is actually a rocket in-flight. As we're here, now, you can only... Yeah, while one rocket is launching, you cannot launch another one simultaneously. You have to get the other one into orbit to do it. Nine, eight, seven, six, engine, three, three, two, one... Remembering, saying engine and not pressing it doesn't work. I'm not telling you, I'm telling me, because I forgot that last time. And also I couldn't count, because I was three, 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 two. <sighs> Exasperated sire to myself. Now I realise that actually, for the, f for the amount of, well, altitude it gains us, most of that altitude was actually gained on little or no fuel. So we used roughly two thirds of the tank to actually get us off the ground. If we quickly set and just launch this rocket because there's a bit of delay between ignition and actual thrust being produced. Plane sailing up into the um, outer atmospheric reaches place thing the exosphere that's what it's called it's called the exosphere now as we're up here we can see oh whoa 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 now we need to change our orbital height I guess you could call it the orbital height even though it's not so much high as more far out now if we just keep thrusting here's a little trick I learned if I zoom in a bit on this and just wait for that to go around so I can actually see it 
Now, if I just get this red line in the center of that craft, then I should be able to dock. No, I can't even see it. There we go. Go backwards. Now, if we just turn this one around, and then we do the actual maneuvering on the other craft. Now, if we switch over to here, literally just start up the engine. Uh, make it slow down ASAP. As we're coming... There we go, we can see the other module just about. Now, when we get about here, we start slowing down for a park. I'm not sure if it's actually called parking, but it seems like it. Now, if we tap on the other module, switch to it, and release the fairing, then this way we can just launch slightly down, spin us round slightly, and slow down as we dock. And there we go, we've got the weird docking music to signify that we've docked. Successful. Thank you. Yeah, and there we go, we have completed the mission. I do not know why I'm speaking like this, but I am. This is probably a terrible accident. And I probably sound nothing like the places I am trying to sound like. And I would not be able to tell you the sound that I am trying to sound like, because I am not trying to sound like anyone. I may be trying to sound Russian, but I am not sure on that. And now the next mission, Mission 6, the Station Hub. Um, should I leave you on a cliffhanger? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Yeah, but I'm just leaving on a cliffhanger. Ha! Huh. Now, Mission 6, Station Hub, all I'm showing is, the administration has decided to embark on a program to expand the space station. And that is all you'll know. Now, for that mission I should tell you that, yesterday, I had a little word with NASA, and we may be buying NASA and making it part of UCAEA, so that we have control over the ISS. But it's no definite yet, you'll have to wait until next time to see if we actually bought NASA. If we do, then we'll go to that space station and it'll be ours. If not, then we'll just run the around for NASA. Iran, Iran, whatever. Errand, however you want to pronounce it. Now, so, goodbye. This has been the Classman Engineer. And, yeah, I wait until next time. Hit like and subscribe. Goodbye.